I'm Stacy from the Stone Mill Public Market down here on Mill Street in Middlebury. Um, you are in the very front of the public market. This is an 1848 Stone Mill building that Mary and I purchased from the college uh, last year. We opened initially in October. It includes a number of different uses. The very top floor has four uh, lodging units in it. Everybody's got their own bedroom and bathroom and there's some common space there. The floor right above us here is a co-working space that has monthly memberships available um, as well as two private offices and conferences, etc. We're on the public market, as I've been talking about, and below us is uh, Mad Taco. Over here to my right, to your left, uh, is the slate uh, section of the store. They've got a variety of different home goods. We've been thrilled to partner with them. And very fortunate that they also designed the Airbnbs that are on the top floor of the building here. Um, to my left, you will see all these wonderful bags from the Vermont Bookshop, which has been another tremendous partner of ours. They have a stall further down the hall behind me. And if you order any book that uh, the Vermont um, Bookshop has either in stock or orders for you, you can pick it up here. So that's been fun. And you can see the variety of books that um, Becky Dayton has curated to include uh, for folks to browse. Many of us have missed browsing at books uh, during the shutdown over the last couple of months. So we've got books for kids, books for hiking, as a lot of us are enjoying more outside time these days. And over here, you'll see the variety of cards that we have. That's one of the most fun things that I get to do uh, here at the Stone Mill, is pick out different cards for folks to share with friends and family. Now we're in the Daedalus Wine Stall. Uh, they carry some of the uh, the best curation of wine that I've really found. Um, and they do tastings from time to time. And one of the spots that we look forward to doing tastings on soon is the deck that's behind me over here on the lower side of the building. There's also a large deck on the upper side of the building. And both of those spaces are open to the public, whether they're a customer or not. We just want this to be a place that the community feels like they can gather and having large outdoor spaces um, comes in handy right now given the restrictions that many of us have. One of my favorite features here at the Stone Mill Public Market is Lost Water. Uh, it's the coffee cafe that is here. It's the spin-off from Royal Oak. It's, it's a wonderful combination to meet the customers that are coming in for coffee, they see what else is here, and then for the customers that are coming in because they need a greeting card or a bottle of wine to know that uh, there's great coffee options available downtown. So here we are in the collection, the stall that my business partner Mary and I have curated and included some of our favorite things. It does include masks, uh, which is not something that when we opened the store in October that we ever imagined we would be sourcing and providing, but they um, are a fact of everyday life. Uh, and for customers coming in, we do ask that people wear masks. We have um, many for sale. We also have disposable ones if anybody forgets those um, and gloves available as well. Um, we are cleaning on a very regular basis. So the space is continuously cleaned um, throughout the day uh, to make sure that everybody is safe. We also have um, plastic in front of the checkout area so that um, customers can feel safe when they're checking out. On select Saturdays throughout the summer and likely into the fall, we're going to be doing mini markets. So they'll have three, four, five vendors, a variety of different products. Some of them will be very familiar names to a lot of us, and some uh, we love to introduce new vendors as well, people who are just getting going with their craft or their product. And so that's going to be um, for right now 12 to 5 on Saturdays, and we'll provide information about that on our social media. Uh, we've been open Wednesday through Saturday, 12 to 5, and just so thrilled and thankful for the response that we got from the community.